We are hooked up to the Dynabox with the accelerometer switch and uh, the box that houses the electronics inside. With the uh, bar graph you can see the infrared LEDs uh, behind the uh, plastic plates here. That's what the uh, purple flashing is here. So anyways we thought I'd give a demonstration of how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and ready to go. Okay, first of all, I thought I would explain some of the uh, locations and parts on the uh, box here. This is where the uh, bar graph plugs in to the box. And for now, I just have this bar graph up here on the uh, Dynabox. I just got some Velcro right here. And I just put some Velcro on the back. And then I just push it onto the Dynabox, like so, but with the Velcro and just adhere it to there. Just push and it's on. It's got Velcro pieces on the top and bottom, so I'll just push on the top, push on the bottom. This red light means that it's been turned on and it's ready to be uh, started. This is the bar graph that indicates your finger position of where your finger is at in the set position. So if you were to you know, set the uh, switch or the sensor here and you were to move it this way, this bar graph would be green at the point at which you set it and then it would move up the scale according to where your finger is in relation to where you originally set it. So if I move it backwards this way the uh, bar graph will go up. If I move it towards me to activate it, it'll go down to the point to where these other LEDs that you can't see right now would uh, light up uh, and indicate that they are uh, using the, uh, the switch has been activated. So um, I'll give an example of that in a second, but let's go over some of these other features. Uh, here is the light just to indicate that um, a response has been made to perhaps a question or following a chart or that uh, the user is trying to get some help so the finger would just be twitched down or pulled down and then this light would go off for a second just basically flash real quick to get somebody's attention to indicate uh, a yes or to indicate hey I'm trying to get your attention these switches right here uh, change the rate at which uh, this one right here is the twitch on the bottom it indicates uh, which position the uh, Del, uh, the twitch delay is in and then this switch uh, indicates depending upon where it's at how far you actually have to move the sensor before it activates the switch so one is a pretty light setting where you barely have to move it and the other one's a little bit more where you have to uh, move it a little bit more to make it work this is the um, the actual switch that plugs into the Dynabox on the Dynabox port right here and that just plugs into the side right there with just a mono jack right there and just plugs right in Good to go. Uh, this is the set button. So what you do is you turn the device on. And you plug it in, and um, you turn it get, turns on automatically, and then it's ready to go. So this red light will light up, and then you just push this red button when you want to set. When you get this all ready to go, this goes that the wires go on the sensor. They go backwards, so uh, towards the uh, you know with the finger. So they go in line with the finger like that. Uh, this can be undone, it can be draped across two fingers, it can be dropped, draped across three fingers. So for now I just have it on one and I have the extra Velcro uh, piece just looping over the sensor and stuff. And I just put it on my one finger like this. It's best if you can get the sensor to be um, as vertical as possible, you know, so a little bit more like that perhaps. Um, but it'll work for quite a bit of angle and everything. Uh, but it's best if you can get it as vertical as possible so when you move it, you know, it senses the vertical motion and the horizontal motion. and uh, you know, you can literally take it like that or you can set it like that. Whatever's pretty comfortable, it'll work both ways. So let's give an example here of, so I got the uh, switch right here and I'm going to uh, push it with my hand and then that light will stop being red and it'll set this position for my uh, hand and it'll turn to green. There it goes, I push the button, it's green. So, nope, I moved it forward here. So you can see as I move my finger, You can see I'm up above the center. See, I'm moving it way back. It's up above the center. So I'm bringing it back towards center. And there it goes. Oh, it's uh, using the Dynabox. I have it plugged in. But anyway, so that's how it or helps you orientate yourself in relation to where you initially set your finger and where your finger's at in relation to trying to activate the switch, which is forward. So we'll give an example of how the uh, Dynabox works with the switch and the eye gaze technology. So I'm going to push pause here. And one of the things I wanted to point out too is that, see I rolled the sensor horizontally 
either way and it set off these blinking orange LEDs and that means that the sensor see this is the sensor here I, I took it off my finger if I roll it sideways it tells me that hey I might be slipping off you might want to check that out and see if there's something needing to be done to fix it and everything and then if all you need to do is just you know retilt it back straight and it'll be good if it tilts the other way it'll do the same thing so basically you know it just operates like this forward turns it on backwards and just indicates that hey you're going the wrong way so come forward see I'm actually moving it forward it's pretty sensitive so I can barely even move it and it'll light up the uh, other LEDs indicating which way the sensor is moving and everything and like I said the bar graph is just for uh, indicating uh, which way you're moving your finger to give you uh, orientation to where your act, fingers actually act in comparison to being set. So there's about the exact spot that it was initially set right there. And so I'm just kind of holding it right there. But you can see the first green LED is lit. That indicates that it's ready to go. The second LED right there was the twitch. Let's see if I can get to twitch here. Now it's the, the twitch is so quick that um, there it goes. Sometimes I can get it, sometimes I can't. The twitch is so quick that sometimes it uh, the delay is just not long enough to um, keep it from activating the light and the switch and everything, but that's okay. You can be changed on the box with these levers if it's too sensitive. So that's what the second green LED indicates. The red LED indicates that you can see that, hey, you're still in switch mode. You're basically still on the switch. And so that's what it's trying to say by uh, having the red light on still telling you. And all the bar graphs all the way down to the double red. So the red and then the red there and the orange, the yellow and the green are all lit indicating A, you're on the switch still, you need to come off so I'm going to roll it back there it goes, you can see it rolled off and it turned green right away letting you know okay hey I'm ready to go again alright so I'm going to push pause and give a demo with the uh, eye gaze tech okay so I'm going to try and give a demo of the eye gaze using my finger here and the switch, it's kind of going to be hard to hold the camera and the switch and keep track of everything because it's trying to track my eyes and I'm going to be looking over where I'm at and everything so let's try and get to the main menu I'm using my eyes let's check the status so you can see on the screen so I'm going to try and get centered better here okay so let's go test uh, improve eye tracking Okay, now we can test it. So it's going to light up this little beach ball looking thing. And And we couldn't get it because I'm holding too many things, doing too many things at one time. So there it goes. Let's just keep doing larger buttons here, boy. Because I'm literally holding this stuff in my face and it's really messing things up. Here, I'm just holding the switch in my hand, which is making it tiny and hard.
Hi. 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 Okay, so there it goes. So you can see it's working and everything. It's kind of hard to do it because it's not on my finger. I'm literally holding it, and it kind of makes it difficult. And I keep knocking it out. You can see it's getting knocked out, and it's difficult to uh, hold it and hold the f camera, which is my phone, and everything all at the same time. All right, so I hope that helps out.